Welcome comrades. In this video, you will learn how to compute the cost for backfilling. Backfilling is the process of covering up the structures or utilities that are meant to be buried underground with suitable soil. If the quality of the soil be being excavated failed the standards as a backfilling material, then you must use an imported and suitable soil for backfill. By the way, I just want to make a clear distinction between the terms backfill, fill, and embankment because I always hear most of my colleagues use these terms interchangeably. Actually, the term backfill is strictly used in filling up excavated ground, while fill and embankment can be used interchangeably most appropriately, the latter is used when a huge volume of soil is filled in an existing ground in order to reach the designed grade level. Anyway, backfill and embankment are both technically fill. Okay, now let's proceed to the cost computation. First thing, we will calculate the volume of backfill. Again, we will use our previous sample project, which is a residential building. Backfill volume is equal to the total volume of excavation minus the blinding concrete minus the concrete footing minus the column neck. Now that we already have the backfill quantity, we go now to our cost sheet. This item of work involves three direct costs. One is the equipment cost, two is the labor cost for the equipment operator, and three is the material cost, assuming that the excavated material is not suitable for backfilling. In our sample project, the appropriate equipment for compacting the backfilled soil is thumping brammer, also known as jumping jack. The average productivity rate of thumping brammer is 6 cubic meter per day. And so, it will take around 9.81 days for one brammer to complete the backfilling work of 58.84 cubic meter. Assuming its equipment cost of 800 pesos per day, we now have the total cost of our equipment. For the operator of the equipment, of course, we take the same number of days for the duration of his work, which is 9.81 days. Then, Assuming our labor wage of 500 pesos per day, we now have our labor cost. For the backfilling material, don't make a mistake in taking the calculated backfill volume of 58.84 cubic meter. Remember that this is a compacted volume. When we bring in this material to site, this is a loose soil. So, we need to add a shrinkage factor of 30% to the compacted, compacted volume. Therefore, 58.84 cubic meter times 1.3 equals 76.79 cubic meter will be our backfill material. Assuming the price of 250 pesos per cubic meter, now, we have our total cost for backfilling. Simple and easy. I'm